How do you know how much money is in your pocket? Do I have enough money? In this lesson, you will learn how to count money by drawing pictures. Let's review. Skip count by fives or tens using a number line. Let's skip count by fives first. Five, 10, 15, 20. Let's skip count by tens now. 10, 20, 30. A common misunderstanding is always thinking you have to skip count by the same amount. We can start skip counting by skip counting three groups of five. Five, 10, 15. And to those three groups of five, we can add two groups of 10. So from 15 plus 10 more would be 25, and 10 more than that would be 35. So three groups of five plus two groups of 10 equals 35. If Julius has three nickels and one dime, how much money does he have? Can I borrow 30 cents? Hmm, do I have enough to lend her? Draw pictures to solve the problem. First draw the coins. There are coins, and we're gonna use a number line to help us skip count. 10 cents, now we'll skip count the nickels. Five cents, plus five cents, plus five more cents, gets us to 25. So he has 25 cents. He does not have enough to lend her. If Raul finds a quarter and two nickels on the street, how much did he find? My lucky day. Draw pictures to solve the problem. Skip count the largest number, 25, first. There's 25. Now we can skip count by five, starting at 25. 25 plus five more is 30, plus five more is 35. He found 35 cents. Draw pictures to solve the problem. We can do it another way as well. There's our 25 cents to begin. Sometimes it's easier to combine the, some coins to make it much easier. So we'll combine those two five cents and make a dime. So we can just skip count by 10. 25 cents skip count by 10 is 35 cents. All we had to do was ch change the number in the tens place from two to three to get 35 cents. He found 35 cents. If Jules has a quarter, two dimes, and a nickel, can he buy lemonade? Do I have enough money? Lemonade's 45 cents. Let's draw pictures to solve the problem. We'll skip count that quarter first. Now we can skip count by 10 starting at 25. 35, 45, plus that nickel gets us to 50 cents. He has 50 cents and can buy lemonade. 50 cents is greater than 45 cents. Let's draw pictures to solve the problem a different way. Once again, we'll start with 25 cents. And maybe we can combine the rest of those coins. The last three coins make up a quarter. So if we put them together and make a quarter, we know that one quarter is 25 cents, two quarters is 50 cents. So he has 50 cents. He has 50 cents and can buy lemonade. In this lesson, you have learned how to count money by drawing pictures.